Um, and one of those inspiring students is Gabriel Lopez. Um, he has been an active team court member since his freshman year. He's now in the 11th grade at the Law Magnet at Wilson High School. Um, he has been participating in team court. I can tell you I can always count on him for really good questions um, all the time, very uh, insightful. Uh, he also participates in the mock trial program. He is a criminal prosecutor and his goal when he graduates is to go to college and then to become a lawyer and a criminal prosecutor. He has a very impressive list of colleges he's planning on applying to and he is a very impressive young man. Uh, and with that, I'm going to introduce Gabriel Lopez who is our keynote speaker. So good afternoon, thank you very much. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to be able to speak to you. Um, so Judge Fuhrer gave a very impressive introduction, but I'll just tell you a little bit more um, about me. So in elementary school is when I started really becoming interested in the law. Um, I was scrolling through TV one day and I um, came upon People's Court, and so that was, <laughs> where it all started back in third or fourth grade. Um, so that exposed me to small claims law, and I knew that it was very dramatic and intense, and I was like, oh, that sounds fun, I kinda wanna do that, be on TV. Um, so middle school is when I started kind of reading books that exposed me to a different type of law. Um, I became very interested in legal fiction, and so I started um, reading books that exposed me to criminal law. But all of this reading and watching TV that I did was um, giving me the impression that you had to be an adult to make a difference and be a part of law. And so I always had the ambition of growing up and becoming a lawyer and making a difference, but I never thought that as a teen I could have an impact um, until seventh grade when I started uh, looking into high schools. Um, my counselor really encouraged me to go into a magnet program. And so I actually found Wilson High School's Law Magnet and I was very interested in the mock trial program that they talked about. And so it was you got to take on the role of a criminal prosecutor and you got to put on the case before a superior court judge. And so I thought that was very interesting, but again, it was a mock trial. So I thought, you know, it's, it's really fun, it's great practice, but that's kind of the extent of what you can do as a high school student. Um, and so it wasn't later until I discovered teen court. Now I had, I had seen some of the um, teen interventions that took place on TV, um, teens would come before a judge and they would get this intervention and so I always thought that that was really great and I knew that when I became a lawyer or a judge I wanted to make a difference in teens' lives. But so when I got to Wilson freshman year I was exposed to teen court and so it was interesting um, and so I thought I'd check it out. So I went to my first teen court, decided to be a juror, kind of didn't know exactly what to do. Um, so I waited till the second case and then just kind of copy what was in the first case. Um, and so ever since then, I've realized that as a teen, I can make a difference. And all of you here are students that have participated in team court and have made a difference. And so I think sometimes like you realize that you've made a difference, but how much of a difference is kind of hard to imagine. So if you think about 22 schools in LA County and say each school gets about 20 cases a year, say just an estimated number, um, and assuming about 15 of those students complete the program and change their lives. So 22 times 15, that's a lot of lives that you're changing, not only for them, but for their families, for their friends, for their future. And so the hope is that they'll become citizens that 
want to give back to their community as well. Um, and so I think one of the big things that stands out about Teen Court is that you realize while you're dealing with these cases that it's not only about the issue that's in front of you, what they're charged with, uh, which is you know petty theft or something like that, but I remember a case um, that specifically stands out that Judge uh, Bershon presided over, and it was a case um, where a girl was charged with a um, misdemeanor, and so we were asking her questions about that. And so as we asked her questions and we asked the mom questions, we found out that there was a lot more going on at home. She was involved in a domestic violence situation. Her mom was involved in a domestic violence situation. Um, her mom had been suicidal before, and so there was just a lot of underlying factors that we didn't realize this girl was dealing with every day. And so one of the things that we asked uh, the mother was, do you have resources? Are you involved in counseling? Are you involved in um, therapy for yourself and for your children? Are you out of this domestic violence situation? And so she was in the process of looking for resources. And so I've never, I had never done this until uh, that case, but we actually, as one of our terms, requested that CPS come in, Child Protective Services come in and do an evaluation and so um, the thought wasn't necessarily to take custody from the mom but it was to have the Department of Children and Family Services come in and provide the parents and the family with counseling services and resources that they could use to get their lives on a better track so I think that that's something that Teen Court does it helps not only the teen but it can also help families in a really big way. Um, so I think that Teen Court has a lot of working parts to it. We as teens are just one component of it, but at this time I'd like to just kind of take a moment to give a round of applause to all of our judges that come out and preside over the Teen Court season. Uh, Team Corps wouldn't be possible without our probation department, so we're going to try to probation department. And just kind of pat yourselves on the back because you guys have taken initiative to be part of Team Court. So if you have friends that you know are not part of Team Court, Team Court, definitely encourage them to be a part of that. And I think that as youth, you can make a difference, and so I hope that as you realize that you have power now, think about the potential ability that you have to impact this world and make it better as an adult. And so I encourage you all, and it's something that you, from what I've seen throughout this conference, are already doing, but take it and just run with it and truly make that your own. So. Um, Special thanks to Judge Nicole Bershon and Judge Gail Fuhrer um, for the nomination. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be up here. And thank you all for your kind attention.